Today I'm going to introduce you to Vieta's formula. Vieta's formula is what naturally arises as a result of multiplying several binomials. For example, x minus a by itself, there's nothing to multiply, so I would not do anything. But what if I had the, um, these two binomials multiplied? If these were equal to 0, you see, then the answer would have been quite obvious if it's in this form, as the x must be a or b. So the, uh, when the problems are given like this, they would not ask you to find what the roots are. That would be too trivial. But they would ask you to find what the coefficients are. So if you expand this by foiling, then you would get this result here. I meant to do this. There we go. Okay, now here's the, uh, something that you should observe here. That is, if I factor these, I will factor it for you, then this is what I get. And if I put this into the uh, textbook format, it would be something like this. It's not in the right order. So let me doctor it by moving it here. So that's how it comes out here. But I want you to take a look at this, and this is how it will come out in your textbook. The coefficient of the uh, second term is the sum, but negative. It's negative sum of the roots. So if they told you the roots, I mean, the, uh, what the uh, problem was, then you would be able to, for example, uh, let me show you what I mean. Suppose they said R1 and R sub 1, R sub 2 are solutions to this equation, okay? Then what is the root, uh, the sum of the roots? What, what if you, what's the root? If you add it, what would you get is the question. The brute force way would be solving this using a quadratic formula or completing the square, getting each r sub 1 and r sub 2, then adding them. But that's a lot of work. But if you know the Vieta's formula, as I just showed you here, you see, this term that you got is the negative value of the sum of the roots, a and b. So in this case, the answer would be simply negative a. It goes further here. Look at this. The last term, the constant term, the term that does not have the x in it, is the product of the roots. Because the, products, the roots were a and b. If you multiply them, that's what you get. So going back to this problem here, what, are the, what is the product of the roots? All you got to say, oh, it's, that's b. So the answer is b to this question. So in the um, quadratic level, the Vieta's formula is quite simple. The middle term tells you the negative value of the sum of the roots, and the uh, constant term, the one without the x, will tell you the product of the roots. And you will see many problems asking you, not the roots, but the sum of the roots or the uh, product of the roots. And it's not time to find the roots. Anytime you see a problem that has this kind of weird notation, I mean, think about it. Shouldn't they ask for the roots, not the sum of the roots? See, there's a trick in it. So whenever you see this kind of strange formation of the question, they're asking for the sum or product, please think of the Vieta's formula and apply it so that you can get an answer in a snap.